believe I'm back on this sorry excuse for a road. Sometimes I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. It feels like I'm not in control of my own life. Why am I driving down the road to the last place on earth I want to be? I haven't even thought about camp in 10 years. After the nightmares finally stopped, I was able to push the events of that summer out of my head. I even half convinced myself they never happened. I'm still not sure how I got here and what I'm hoping to find, yet I feel as if I was called here. Maybe my subconscious wants me to face my fears, or is it something else pulling my strings? As the memories pour over my mental dam, I can't help think that there is something I'm not remembering, something important. It was 20 years ago today that I made and lost the best friends I ever had, all in one day. Their faces forever etched across my subconscious. The six of us brought together for only a short time. Sometimes at night as I'm falling asleep, I still hear their voices. The voices of my youth, my past, the voices with my future. huh yeah well welcome to my world now you don't know what work is till you got here welcome to hell population you you two little sissy boys we'll have you clean the stock room and you two beauty queens <laughs> you clean my tables and a uh, freak girl you and your little nerdy boyfriend I got a special job for you dishes well go <laughs> You know, this would go a lot faster if you'd actually work at it. But it's so disgusting. I just really don't want to get dirty. Is that all you ever think about? Just because I'm pretty doesn't mean I'm shallow. Don't you ever think about your looks? Not really. I'm ugly anyway. <laughs> you are when you're dressed like that. Thanks a lot. I didn't mean it that way. I just meant if you took off the glasses and the hat, you might look a little better. I don't want a boyfriend anyway. The guys around here suck anyways. All they want to do is make out. What about Chad? Chad, he's pretty much the same as everybody else. Well then why are you with him? You're popular enough without him. Popularity isn't everything. I'd kill to be as popular as you are. Don't you have any friends? None that I can think of.
need help with that, man? No. <laughs> Gee, Mark, I can't live without my gallon of mayonnaise. All right. Stuff. Mark! What? Check this out. I dare you to drink some. Wait, that stuff's nasty. I double dare you. Alright, give me a spoon. Oh my. Stinks. Hey, pig boy! You see anything out there? No, no. No what? No, no, sir. Attention all campers and counselors, the chef has left the building. All campers, please return to your tables. This is not an excuse to talk. Congratulations, all bunks have failed inspection. You all be cleaning up for rest hour with ETV. Yay! Yo. <laughs> Every day the kids in my bunk mess around with my cubby and the counselors never do anything about it. Mr. Dexter alone. Get back to class. See you, baby. Bye. I hope you get the Bye. science time Bye. 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 I'm getting to that. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. They won't mess around in my cubby after this. Oh, I think I smell a rat. Oh, I think I smell a rat. If you're gonna get in trouble, might as well have fun doing it. Shut up, Chad. Oh my god, did you guys see what she was wearing? I know, was that a shirt or a pillowcase? What was up with that hat and those glasses? 
I don't know, but did you see what she was wearing the other day? It was spandex. I know, they should really put a weight limit on spandex. Definitely. Could she be a bigger loser? I don't think so. No way. Ever. Be next. <laughs> My mom went ballistic on me when she found out. They made you call your mom for making out in the woods? No, she works here. Your mom works here? I never knew that. Who is your mom anyway? You guys have to promise not to tell anyone. If my friends find out, I promise. 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 Okay, you know the lady who makes the announcements? The one with the annoying voice? That's her. That's not anything compared to my parents. What do they do? Dress you funny and make you wear a dog collar? <laughs> What's around with your parents? Well, do you ever wonder why my name is Willie? Never really thought about it. I was conceived at a Willie Nelson concert. <laughs> 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 Willie Nelson? Problem with that? No. Anyone, I will personally kill each one of you. So what'd you do to get here? Bite the head off of a kitten? You should have seen the counselor's face. It was totally worth it. Didn't you feel bad smashing his guitar? I would. I broke something by accident, and now I'm here. Everyone knows I like it. Everyone knows it's like, oh my god, if you see me, it's going to be like putting in a hole, not in the I know, and then here she comes, second session. Oh my god, I'm so special. I don't think I'm going to lost her mind. It's not like I did it on purpose. How about you, Mr. Perfect? What are you doing here? All I did was tell a scary story to Bunk One. Was it the Beaverhead story? I saw some candles in the back. If we're gonna tell a ghost story, let's tell it right. Thirty years ago, there was a severe thunderstorm that hit around this very camp. Everybody was warned to stay inside their houses, and not a person was in sight. On this night of all nights, an unfamiliar truck driver came to town. Suddenly, a small creature sprinted across the road. Not wanting to hit that animal, the driver swerved, and the truck tipped, crushing the driver and spilling its hazardous chemical contents 
onto the road. The chemicals engulfed the driver and the nearby dead beaver, uniting them as one and creating another species known as Beaverhead, the body of a man and the head of a beaver. This grotesque being is said to still haunt this camp. Every full moon, Beaverhead seeks revenge on the campers that surround this lake. He takes innocent campers into the lake, tears off their skin, and rips out their intestines, and then he eats them alive. He stalks kids who sneak into the cafeteria late at night and watches them through the windows. Then, when you least expect it, he has That's not the story. Beaverhead is not some mutated toxic avenger. He's a very real and ancient evil. He survives by infecting a new host every 20 years. It was 20 years ago tomorrow I first saw Beaverhead, and I hope to God I never see him again. Sometimes I feel I've got to run away. I've got to get away from the pain you drive into the heart of me. The love we share seems to go nowhere. And I've lost my light. Get back here! They haven't called the period yet! Idiots. Madonna sucks. You want the next super group? I'll tell you something. It's bland. Now, if you want like high quality music and like glow in the dark sunglasses, all you gotta look for is Wham, dude. Wham, Wham's gonna be done next year. Look, I say, I pay okay. five dollars. Listen to listen to the brass. Listen to the percussion. Listen to George Michael. George Michael does nothing. It's the backup singers. It's a, okay. So there you just there you just admitted. There you just admitted. Wham has nothing. You just admitted right now. I just said that Wham is nothing. You just said the back the back. You just said. You guys are both idiots. Jack Leopard is the best. Cannonball. Take that, Death Leopard. You're so not this bloody all wet, you jerk. What is your problem? I was trying to stun it. You jerk, they're both noxious. Hey, so rude. How are you, sir? They never did find his body. Yet later that summer, I swear I saw John in the woods. But he changed. He almost didn't look human anymore. I never saw him again, but I know he's out there waiting. Kids, get back to your bunks now. It's not a good night to be out. Chad, we really can't get caught. My mom will kill me. Shh, we won't get caught. Who's gonna catch us? Chad, that character like your story really freaked me out. Yeah, creepy. No, he's just a crazy old man. Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. No, I seriously heard something. There's nothing. I'll protect you. It's beautiful tonight. <laughs> Thought I told you kids to get back to the bunk. Get there now.
Mickey, any sign of the caretaker yet? Nothing, it's just disappeared. What about the chef? Same thing, haven't seen either of them since last night. Listen, I need you to get everybody up to the room as soon as possible, okay? Okay. It's very important. What are you looking for? Nothing. I'm just looking. Get down, you're gonna kill yourself. Did you get everyone? Yeah, they're on their way. Good. What are we doing here? I'll explain it once everybody's here. You actually think those two dorks are gonna come? They'll be here. gonna get you. Lay off on Chad. Hey guys, wait up. Come on, Claire, you can make it. I know we'll be waiting. I'm gonna sing until it's time to go. I wanna sing till it's time to go. Candy. I never have. Why not? I don't know. I wish I didn't like candy so much. Maybe you could try eating something else. Like what? Rice cakes? They aren't that bad. Yeah, if you like eating styrofoam. I guess they wouldn't be that bad if you put peanut butter on them. Where did Poindexter disappear to? Who cares? Who thinks such a jerk, Chad? So you think he's okay? Maybe we should go look for him. Sean! Sean! Where are you, Sean? Sean! 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 Thank 
kid. Oh, there you are, kid. You had us worried. Why, Dexter, what's wrong? Sean. He's dead. It's okay, kid. It's just a frog. It's not just a frog. It was a living thing. Sorry, Sean. Willie, are you afraid of dying? Mm. I try not to think about it that much. I think about it a lot. Sometimes I think I'm never going to get to grow up. Listen, kid, you're only ten. I mean, go out and have some fun and leave all that wearing stuff from your old man. I guess. Come on, let's go. No. What do you mean, no? No. I won't go. We need to have a funeral. A funeral? Let's go. Please, it's important to me. Okay, I'll go get the others. Hey guys, I found him. He's over there. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Good, let's get out of here. <clears throat> not yet. Why not? Well, he found a dead frog and now he wants to have a funeral for it. Willie, this is stupid. Can we just get out of here already? Willie, why does he want to have a funeral? Well, I think he kind of got spooked out when we went to the cemetery. It's important to him. Then I think we should have the funeral. Have you all gone crazy? Chad, please, do it for me. Fine, but you owe me. Okay, let's go. Time. Let's go see if Beaverhead's here. Goodbye, all you people. There's nothing you can say to make me change my mind. Goodbye. This is Beaverhead's house. Friend Poindexter? I bet you think you're better than me, don't you, Poindexter? I bet you like Mary Beth a lot, Chad. Don't stop you? it. I bet you want to kiss her, but you can't. She's mine. Leave him alone. She belongs to me, Poindexter. My name is Sean! Oh, cool. My Sean!
in the basement. You two, go to the office and get help. You two, come with me. It's time to finish this. and I'm going to find my mom. Come on, Sean. What? Beaverhead. It's been 20 years since that fire, and I could still feel its heat on my face. We buried Poindexter with that frog and discovered Sean. Maribeth found her own strength instead of depending on others for it, and they were married 10 years ago. I couldn't bring myself to go to the wedding. I couldn't face the events of that summer over again. I'm still haunted by Chad's voice screaming to light the fire, but what haunts me more is that they never found his body. I hoped coming back here would provide me with some answers, but I seem only to find questions. Why did it happen? What was Beaverhead? 
and who will be next.